Memorial B. Memorial B. And we're here with a brand new Japanese subscription box for you. And today that box is da -da 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 -da, Wow Box, February 2016 edition. <laughs> So this is, yeah, new box for us. It's been out just a few months now. There are three different kinds of um, these subscription boxes. We have right here the Fun and Tasty. They also have what is called um, the Classic, which is um, basically all like typical Japanese treats like Pocky and um, what else? Oh, like little these choco mushrooms. Um, just typical stuff you can get anywhere in Japan that everybody knows about basically here in the US is the gist of what I'm getting from their website and they also have one called kawaii and beauty and that's an interesting one because apparently those snacks are supposed to be uh, reduced calorie or something and also um, they put beauty products in there so that's kind of cool I guess really neat but the fun and uh, tasty is what we have here and I decided to choose that because I don't want any low calorie. Mm. I don't want any low calorie snacks. What the hell are we doing this for if we're going to do low calorie? Hey, <laughs> Pupik, right on time. But um, yeah, so the fun and tasty to me just seemed like it was a really much better idea. You think so, Pupik? So it says talk to anyone in Japan about their childhood eating habits and they're sure to recall all sorts of amazing DIY candies and wacky treats. Luckily, many of these treats are still going strong alongside a range of new candies that are taking the country by storm. In fact, many of these snacks have gone viral on YouTube. With this wow box, now you can enjoy them too. Hi, Pupik. Now she's already rubbing against it. We haven't even opened it up. <laughs> so anyways, um, of e each of the three boxes um, that you can get, they also have three different sizes, uh, small, medium, large. And they are all the same price for the small, which is $14.99. The medium is $24.99. And the large is $34.99. And that's what we have right here. So let's break into it, shall we? All right. Public, are you ready? All right. So they have... Your usual ID paper, which is good. Looks good. Yeah. But what I is new for us that we have never seen before is they have nutritional information and um, all the ingredients in English for people who are worried about not only calories, but they're worried about, of course, allergens, which this day and age is everybody. So that's really awesome. I mean, it's really nice that they printed up everything in English so everybody will know. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so the first thing I see here is this, and it is, oh, excuse me, I just dropped the paper. <laughs> Hold it up for me. Mm. Okay, um, Onimon, onion consomme. Are you done with it? Because as long as you're comfortable, that's all that matters to me. Enjoy the refreshing taste of these onion soup. Taste of onion soup. Oh, okay. Via these bite-sized treats. Mm. So that sounds good. Mm. All right. Ooh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> it smells good. They look like, oh, that's too many. They look like little flowers, little onion flowers. Cool. Smell wonderful. They smell like onion dip. Oh, yeah. it's like my favorite thing, onion dip. Oh. Yeah, good. it's real good. Mm -hmm. It's like a sweet funion to me. Yeah, it's um, not quite as garlicky right. and over, overboard as funions, which don't get me wrong, I love funions. Me too. Oh, it's just a little bit of a lighter flavor. Yeah, it's a calm. It's more flavor. realistic, I guess, like maybe cooked onions as yeah. opposed to raw. Right. Really good. I mean, I could eat all these, I'm just I'm not going to. So we have a lot left in this box. All right, so what I see here is Melty Kiss by Meiji, which I know we've had recently. Uh, this is called Precious Milk. Perfect for the end of winter. These rich chocolate treats practically melt in your mouth. Mm. Yeah, I know we've had some Melty Kiss recently, but I'm not quite sure if it was this exact type. So why not? Oh, and it did oh. kind of melt, actually, and there's pieces all over now. Yeah, this one is, uh, this one's melted. 
Oh yeah, they melt fast. Apparently. It's melting in my fingers. Hence the name Melty Kiss. <laughs> it melts in your hands, not necessarily in your mouth. <laughs> it's good. Mm. Yeah, simple. Chocolatey. Good. Very. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. I got pieces of chocolate all over here. <laughs> all right. All right. Very nice. Yeah, just simple creamy chocolate. I mean, there's not much else to say about it, really. All right, so I see we have an Umaibo here. Has it? Is it one that we have not tried? Who knows? This one is um, salami. Is it salami? I don't think we've had that one. Umaibo salami. This classic kid's favorite turned pub snack boasts a smoked salami flavor fit for any occasion. Mmm. Oh, this is just about crushed. All right, so it's just your typical Umaibo. This is all crunched up. Sort of smells like salami, too. Cured meats of some kind. Hmm. Mm, this is real good. These things are always good. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. It does taste like salami. I really, really like this. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Mm. Very nice. Man, there's crumbs all over this, and we've only gotten... <laughs> <laughs> there's crumbs all over the table, and we're only three snacks in at this point. All right, so we have a drink, too. So that's nice. Mm. And what we got here is Calpis Soda. And I feel like we've probably had this before, but not recently. Mm. Or if so, we had a flavor of Calpis Soda. I don't know. This says, a soda version of classic Japanese beverage. This yogurt flavored drink will get you refreshed in no time. We'll see about that. <laughs> you first? You go ahead. Never get to see you anymore. Since you are the soda connoisseur. It's all right. Yeah. It's, um, I wouldn't say that it tastes like yogurt. You know what it tastes like to me is squirt, watered down squirt. I'm not really a squirt person, so I yeah. never really had, I don't think I ever really had it. But I mean, it's good. I mean, yeah. if somebody handed you this, you'd be like, oh, it's not It's not a flavor that you recognize right off the bat, but right, you still right. drink it because it's definitely a thirst quencher. Yeah, yeah. It's squirt, just not fierce. It didn't burn your throat. <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right, great, yeah, fine. All right, so I see we have a DIY kit in here. Very nice. This mm. looks good. I don't think I got this before, but I wanted this, and I finally got it. Yay! It's a crazy uh, pop and cooking kit. Happy Kitchen Hamburger. Create your own sweet take on fast food. Just follow the easy instructions. Okay, and they even give you a web address for... Mm. I don't know if it's a... I don't think it's a YouTube video. But anyways, yeah. So you can make your own little uh, hamburgers and french fries and a soda. Hmm. Which is cool. Yeah. Neat. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what I see here looks like a lollipop, and it looks like it could be... What is it? Grape? grape? Yeah. This is called Sherbert Pero Grape. Dip the lollipop into the juicy powder for a tasty experience. Oh, see, we had one... We had the pineapple one, like over oh. the summer. Remember that? That was pretty oh. good. Can I do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's in the... Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had some, uh, a, a box uh, the other day. Mmm, very nice. It was a Hello Kitty one. Mm. Um, it was pineapple. But it was just really bland and yucky. So, anyways, I was saying that it could have used this kind of treatment, you know, with the powder in the bottom where it's extra tangy and stuff. So here we go. I just stuck it in there and put the powder on it. Let's see if it's it's extra uh, wangy. Mmm. I like that. I like it a lot. You like it after it's dipped? Oh yeah. I mean, but it's fine on its own. Yeah, it's good by itself. But it's not it's not overwhelming. You, like you probably won't suck you know suck in your cheeks or whatever. No. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's real good. I can kind of see the appeal of this. You could you sit there and talk to somebody or watch something. Mm -hmm. 
just keep dipping it. Definitely, especially if you like, you know, more flavor. Yeah. Yeah, these are that's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save that for me because I'm gonna eat it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So continuing on grape because this looks grape to me is this. It is uh, oh, Kadrichi. Kaji Richi. Kaji Richo. <laughs> God. I usually pride myself on being able to pronounce these. Kaji Rico. Soft soda candy. Soft candy, grape and soda. This refreshing chewy candy opens with a sweet grape taste before closing out with a soda flavor. Okay, it feels soft and squishy. Hmm. It looks like one of those those high chews. Yeah. Just not cut into a little, you know, rectangle. Yeah. So it looks just like a high chew because the high chew for us has always had the white center and then depending on the flavor wrapped in the color. So that's exactly what it looks like. It just looks like an uncut high chew. Mmm. Good. Really good. Oh yeah. It's just tangy enough. Mmm. Mmm. I like that. Yeah, I do too. Mm-hmm. Is this gum? No, it's candy. Just candy? Soft candy. Hmm. Very nice. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Seems substantial enough. Yeah, like I would need a couple more of those. Hmm. Alright, so here we've got some peach gummies, it looks like, by Meiji. Um, 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 um. Oh, yeah. Kaju gummy, white peach. These super juicy gummies capture the refreshing taste of white peach. Uh, I've never really had a white peach before, have you? No. I ate a lot of peaches. It smells like peach, but it smells like... I mean, I assume when they say white peach, I feel like it's going to be less... Like, more toned down. Yeah. A flavor. Oh, so here's what it looks like. Just like a peach gummy. Mm hmm <laughs> It's very good, actually. It actually tastes like an authentic peach to me. It's like you eat peaches in a can. Right, and you drink right. The juice that out. is weird. Yeah. This is like the first gummy I've had, or at least in recent memory, that actually tastes like an actual, the fruit that it's based on. Like, not an artificial flavor. This yeah. is very good. Alrighty. What do we have here? Hmm. Oh, we got two of these. Or they're different. Oh, okay. So, so we got two sets of pancakes here. Little baby pancakes. <clears throat> that one's probably the chocolate one. This is just a hot cake maple syrup. These mini pancake sandwiches fit sweet maple syrup between two hot cakes. Do you hear any crinkling aside from what I'm doing? It's puppet getting comfortable over there on a piece of paper. So sorry if there's too much noise. Oh, wow. Wow. That actually smells like pancakes. No, yeah, Holy does. cow. This is, I mean, yeah. This is maple seriously, syrup. seriously. Yeah. This is like pancakes and maple syrup. It smells severely like it. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. I feel like I want to smear some butter on it. Yeah. Mm, that's the only thing that's missing is butter. Mm. That is really mapley. <laughs> It's really good. It actually just tastes like actual pancakes. Yeah. Mm, they're just very not nice. warm. Yeah. Right, yeah. That's the only drawback about them is they're not You're warm. You're warming up in the microwave. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this one is chocolate pancakes. Dora Choco. Oops. <laughs> it says, packing a sweet honey and syrup taste between two chocolate buns. This is a great pick for dessert. So we've had these before, I think. Mm. And this is exactly like the last pancake pancake we had, but this is just chocolate. It's good. Yeah. I mean, but you know, I think the other ones were better with the maple because it's more authentic. This just tastes like, I mean, it could be chocolate squish between just anything. It doesn't actually, you know, have to be a pancake. Tastes like those chocolate donuts. 
you get from Hostess. Yeah, no. Eh, whatever you say, honey. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> All right, so what do I see here? Oh, this is like one of those kids' beer, kids' fake beer thing. Um, naughty kid beer. Here's a beverage anyone can enjoy. Just pour this powder into some cold water, let it bubble a bit, stir for five seconds, and then enjoy. Yeah, I had this before. I made one of my uh, earlier videos was a DIY kit where I just basically got the mug that this um, you can pour this into, um, and just actually you just add water really. That's it, and it tastes pretty good. I don't remember what it tasted like. I want to say like apple cider or something. It was pretty good. So neat. So what I see here is a giant bag that I always, I keep dropping things, I don't know, um, it looks like crackers, uh, this is called Aji Karuda, honey soy sauce, honey and soy sauce, a great combo in any form, but especially good in this crunchy form, honey soy sauce, huh? I'm not sure if I'm, uh, I might like it, it smells good from what I can smell here, so they give you a tray of Six of them? Six individually wrapped rice cakes. Mm. Senbei. Just regular rice cake. Nothing spectacular about it. I sort of smell the soy. Taste any sweetness? No. Maybe this one didn't get that much of it. I don't know. It's good. Um, I don't really taste the honey, which I'm kind of glad about, because I feel like honey is sweet, soy sauce is tangy. I don't feel like those um go together well. However, if they are blended in equal increments and placed on this cracker, it's very good. But to me, I only taste the soy sauce part. So I taste it's good. Very good. I need the rest of it. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, take a few to work or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Boy, we haven't really had much we didn't like so far, so that's a good sign. I can't think of anything I didn't like. Yeah, really. <laughs> All right, so here we've got these, which is cream soda. Here's your opportunity to enjoy the great taste of cream soda in candy form. Okay. So they're just like little hard green balls. Yeah. They look like lollipops without a stick, really. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is like, like melon, melon soda, not necessarily cream soda. It's mm -hmm. good, yeah. It's like light watermelon. Right, yeah, it's definitely watermelon or melon flavor. Like, you know, Japanese are very fond of making melon flavored products and it's always it's always got a green picture, so that's what you know what you're getting. Yeah, it's good. Hmm. I like it. Well, you can take them. Not my favorite thing. I don't hate them, so that's good. <laughs> hmm. I'll take them. Oh, you gonna spit it back in there? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here we have a really cute package with some bunnies on there, I think. Um, and it is called, oh, it is, Sumiko Garashi. That's the name of the, um, there's a bunny and I don't know if that's supposed to be a bear or something. He doesn't have any ears. But anyways, there's really cute pictures on here of the Sumiko Garashi, which is a, um, a Japanese, um, kind of like Sanrio. You know, they've got their own little characters and oh. stuff. They're just really adorable. So anyways, um, this says... Sauce katsu. Is that the sauce of our child? Of our child. <laughs> the sauce of our cat on here. Um, featuring some popular Japanese characters on the bag. These bite-sized snacks capture the take. Probably meant taste of mm. pork cutlet. Yeah, so aside from katsu meaning what I found was win on... For victory. 
or victory mm. on the internet. Apparently it means pork cutlet too, so oh well. So our poor kitty has the name of a pork cutlet as well. <laughs> so this is weird. It does smell like a pork cutlet, I guess. It's it's just hard though and sticky. It's like a flat piece of it's kind of, oh, okay, so it's crispy enough, but it feels like it could bend because it's covered in, like, the sauce. Yeah, it's a little bit pliable. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Hmm. <clears throat> that's, that's odd. <laughs> What does this remind me of? Like Thanksgiving dinner. It reminds me of cinnamon or something. Pumpkin pie. It's got like a cinnamon <laughs> flavor or something. That's why, because it kind of reminds me of, of pumpkin pie. I don't know why. Yeah, there's definitely a sweet kind of... Yeah, it's odd. It is. It's hard to describe. I don't know. If you like pork, you probably love it, but I don't love pork. Mm. I eat pork. I don't really love it. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. It's weird. It's just like a cracker that's covered in in that pork sauce, and it's to me it tastes like pumpkin pie, and I don't know. Yeah, it's it's odd. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so we've got some more umibos in here. This one is taco. T a k o, not t a c o. Mm. I wish. Uh, takoyaki. This crunchy eat captures the taste of Osaka's beloved octopus snack wonderfully. I know we've had one of these before. I take a little bite. Very dark, um, dusted with some spices. It's much darker than the other one we had, the salami one. Mmm. Mmm. Good. <laughs> mm. A little on the sweet side, just a little bit. Yeah. Like it's got some teriyaki sauce on it? That could be. Very good. <laughs> I yeah. need a whole crate of these things. <laughs> now what do we have here? Dried squid jerky. <laughs> this is tiny. I mean, it's tinier than a piece of, like, than a stick of, like, double mint gum. It's tiny. It looks like it's got a, the red Power Ranger on it. <laughs> Doesn't it? Sort of? Yeah, it does. It says, snap into these snack-sized squid jerky sticks. Great with a drink. Oh, good, because uh, I think I'm going to need one. Ooh. Oh. oh. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> it's transparent. Very weird. But, yeah, it just looks like... It looks like a piece of old tape. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. Old tape. It's been yellowed... It's so, like from the 70s, it was stuck in a photo album trying to keep the, right. take the pages together. Right. Sort of like. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, it's, it's bendable too. Isn't that nice? Oh, God. Mm. I can't wait for this. It's hard to chew on. Honestly, it's like I don't really taste any flavor, do you? Well... Tastes a little bit fishy to me. The smell is way more offensive than the taste. I can't really taste anything and it's not chewable. Honestly, it's like still the same. I'm trying to chew it in my mouth and my... I'm out. It's just not very good. <laughs> I mean... Oh. That? Lasted longer than I did. Yucca. It's... It's not um, offensive like those little dried sardines that we had a couple months ago. <laughs> oh, dude. Not as bad as those. It's not great either. I've still got a piece in here that will probably last if I don't try and chew it until tomorrow. Because, I mean, you can't actually chew or bite through these without, like, really hurting your teeth. Yeah, it's hard. Mm. All right, I see something orange, and it clearly says orange on the package, so that helps. Uh, orange gummy. Spend some time chewing on this sweet orange flavored gummy candy. Mm -hmm. Popic, you want? Yes? You want that squid? She wants that squid? Yes. She's sniffing it. She's like, eh, I'm not sure, Mom. Ooh, definitely orangey. 
Oh, they're very tiny. <laughs> they look like little pieces of orange, little orange wedges. Hmm. Come here, baby. Come here, Pupik. Orange, orange gummy. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Hard to mess that up. Come here, sweeties. Yeah, very good. You want some, baby girl? Say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> oh, she wants in the box. All right, hold on, Pupik. There. All right, I got out the last two snacks. Um, second to last thing is another umaibo, and this one is cheese. Mmm. With a cheesy aroma and taste. This go-to Japanese snack hits the spot. Mm. I think they all hit the spot. All the Omaibos do. Ah, uh, yeah. Good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> she likes it. It's like cheese puffs, except it won't get your fingers orange. Mm? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Very good. Do you think so, little king? She's in the box. All right, and the last thing we have here is this. This says potato fry barbecue. These crunchy chips pack a meaty taste straight out of a Japanese <sighs> yakiniku barbecue restaurant. I think I said that right, yakiniku. Yakiniku. <laughs> All right, so this is, mm. All right, so there's, it's a, just a giant, there's a few broken pieces in here, but it's just a giant flat potato chip, basically. It doesn't really smell like barbecue to me. I'll split one. Yeah, it tastes a little something. Very faint. It is, it is very faint, but very good. I like it. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't by any means uh, hit you over the head with any barbecue flavor by mm, at all. Yeah. <laughs> but still, yeah, very good. So okay, this is our first Wow box, uh, the fun and tasty. So what was your favorite thing, my darling? Well, I love all the amiibos, so I'll just write those off. Okay. Other than that, I think I like these. These first thing we tried. Mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. the onion. Yeah, the onion consomme. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these they were like onions. They're good. Very good. Yeah, I like those too, but just to be different, I guess I'll say that I liked, actually, I like the maple syrup pancakes. Yeah, those were good too. Surprisingly, I was like, these just need to be heated and I could eat like 20 of these. Yeah. They were so good. They were good. Yeah, very good. So, definitely awesome. Uh, Go to uh, Wowbox. Actually, um, I think there's uh, it's Wowbox.mogmog.us. I'll put the um, web address uh, in the comments uh, below. And um, yeah, go and order it and tell me what you think. Um, I guess that's it for now. It's nice having you here, honey. Yeah, long time no see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we missed you. Yeah. So did the cats. I know. All right. Uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.